Hello there. Do you see a problem with this tank? Look closely. Yeah, the cannons are off-center. Or to be more precise, the cannons do not align with the axis of rotation of the main turret. And that's a problem. If you look at actual tanks, you'll see that the main cannon does align with the turret's axis. And that is not just to be visually pleasing because we tend to like symmetry or whatever. There is a practical reason for it. So let's look at what it is. Fundamentally, how do you fire a projectile? Well, you exert a force on it to accelerate it to a certain speed. An explosion is used to build a pressure behind the shell, pushing the shell through the cannon. That's the force exerted on the projectile. But then, Newton comes into play. Or at least the third law of Newton. This law states that if an object A exhausts a force on an object B, then object B exhausts an equal and opposite force on object A. In the case of a tank, if the cannon exhausts a force on the shell to fire it, then that shell exhausts an equal and opposite force on the cannon. Therefore, the cannon must be built to withstand that force without failing. And that is where the prowler's design falls flat. Having the cannon off-center greatly reduces its chances of firing without breaking. Let's look at the example of a wheel to understand. When you apply a tangent force on a system that can rotate around an axis, then you put that system in rotation. That is because the force you exert creates a torque, which is the rotational equivalent of a force. That torque is equal to the amplitude of the tangent force multiplied by the distance between the axis of rotation and the point where the force is applied. But, if a force is exerted towards the axis of rotation, then the tangential component of that force is zero. This is also called a central force. There is no tangent force. And since torque is the product of distance and tangent force, then the torque is also zero. And if there is no torque, then no rotation occurs. And that's why the cannon of a tank is aligned with the axis of rotation of its turret. If it's not aligned, every shot taken would generate torque on the turret. So either you design the turret to be extra sturdy to absorb that torque, or your turret will violently twist and damage itself. If you ask me, it's probably much better to just put the cannon in the middle. But how much torque would be generated exactly? Well, let's do the math. As we said, we need two things to calculate torque. Tangential force and distance between where the force is applied and the axis of rotation. First, the distance. Easy enough, I open Blender and I just measure directly on the 3D model. We get a lever of length approximately 1.2 meters. Now the force. That's going to require a couple of steps. When you shoot a projectile, you give it speed. So you give it kinetic energy. To do that, you need to transfer energy to it. That's called work. And a formula for work is force times distance. The distance here corresponds to the distance on which the force is applied to the projectile. In our case, that distance corresponds to the length of the cannon. The total work generated is equal to the kinetic energy of the projectile when it leaves the cannon. So let's plug in the formula for kinetic energy in place of the work. We get this equation. Let's rearrange that to isolate the force and we finally get this. The force exerted on the shell is equal to the mass of the shell times its velocity squared divided by 2 times the length of the cannon. The velocity of the shell is given in the game. We'll go with the worst case scenario of 250 meters per second. That's pretty low for a tank shell, but that's what the game gives. As for the mass of the shell, some research tells me that a 120 mm shell weighs about 17 kilograms. Also, a measurement of the cannon's length using Blender gives me a length of 6.5 meters. That's pretty big. Plug all of these numbers in and we get a force of 82,000 newtons. That's quite a bit of force. Now, multiply this by the level length we measured and we get a torque of nearly 100,000 newton meters. Apparently, that's nearly 8 times the torque applied on a 2 megawatts wind turbine. Needless to say, that's going to cause some serious damage to the tank. So, how do we fix the design of the problem? Well, we need to bring the cannons to the middle to align them with the axis of rotation. But because there are two cannons next to each other, at least one of them will be off-center. To fix that, the cannons must be on top of each other. And there we have it. No violent torque is generated when the shot is taken. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. You can also subscribe and check out my Twitch channel. Thank you very much for watching.